how to perform a ultrasound guided piriformis muscle injection i am dr devjit dutta from asian pain academy first we have to know what is piriformis why you are going to inject in the piriformis there is a condition which is known as the pseudo sciatica it's a sciatica like syndrome basically there is the pain coming from the back to the legs but here there are no compression at the nerve roots rather the piriformis muscle which goes above the sciatic nerve is actually compressed because of the myofascial pain syndrome of the piriformis muscle previously it was called the piriformis syndrome nowadays it is sometimes called a deep gluteal pain syndrome because there are five muscles which remains under the gluteus maximus and when any of those components have any pathologies and putting pressure over the piriformis they can give rise to a condition which is known as the deep gluteal pain syndrome let's first see the anatomy so here let us see the anatomy of the piriformis muscle in the left side you can see the sacrum and here lies the ilium and here the muscle covering the back portion of the buttock portion is the gluteus maximus so let us first hide the gluteus maximus and when we see dip to it we can see this is the sciatic nerve which is having two components tbl and the common peroneal component now remember this nerve goes under the piriformis muscle so here lies the piriformis muscle which is taking origin from actually the inner side of the second third fourth sacral foramina close to and attaches close to the greater trochanter medial side so here when there is myofascial pain of this muscle it compresses over the sciatic nerve so it gives like a sciatica like syndrome which is known as the piriformis syndrome as well so here is the video the patient is placed prone in the table and clean them with antiseptic solution here we are using betadine solution for cleaning and after the cleaning is complete take all the other antiseptic precautions as well let me forward a little use a probe cover for the ultrasound probe and now the start scanning so usually at this point we use the curvilinear probe because as the piriformis is the deeper structure so we have to check from the curvilinear probe and now we have to with the probe we have to come from above the ilial blade so basically initially we are seeing this ilial blade and then we have to keep the probe down here this hypoechoic muscle that you can see is basically the piriformis muscle to be confirmed we are moving the leg of the patient basically do the internal rotation and external rotation we will be seeing this fibers of the piriformis are moving once you have uh, find out this piriformis muscle we can see the sciatic nerve going just below the piriformis this is a clear white nerve and once we got it just first give local anesthetic to the skin here we are giving a little bit local anesthetic at the skin level and then we are injecting with a normal spinal needle so you can use a normal spinal needle but if you want a better view of the needle here is the needle you can use an echogenic needle as well okay so with the needle gradually go and go into the basal bulk of the piriformis muscle that is very very important once we are putting it into the muscle bulk of the piriformis muscle and then in the three four points of the piriformis muscle we have to inject the local anesthetic steroid remember it is like a band which is formed within this muscle which compresses over the sciatic nerve giving rise to painful condition so here we are going and within the muscle bulk at three four places usually we inject the local anesthetic and steroid so here it is being done you can see here is the needle tip here lo below lies the sciatic nerve and we are injecting in the piriformis muscle so ultrasound gives a beautiful advantage is that we can see the muscle so we are definitely sure we are not injuring the sciatic nerve or we are not superficial we are not injecting in the gluteus maximus layer 
So above this muscle layer is the gluteus maximus. This is the piriformis layer. And here you can see the sciatic nerve, okay? So try not to hit the sciatic nerve, be superficial within the muscle and inject within the muscle so that you can actually do a proper piriformis muscle injection. So this is the basic technique. Hope you are able to learn from it. If you want to learn more about the musculoskeletal ultrasound, you can join the Asian Pain Academy Ultrasound Guided Fellowship in Pain Management, which is a six month online course followed by a four days workshop. So that's all for today. Thank you.